A federal judge in Florida is preparing to hear heated arguments in the battle over documents seized from former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago home. Trump's legal team and attorneys for the Justice Department are set to lay out their case over whether the judge should appoint a special master to review the files. Glad you're with us. I'm Justin Warman. And I'm Bridget Ellison. CBS's Natalie Brand has more on what we could expect. A federal judge in Florida will hear arguments this afternoon over former President Trump's lawsuit seeking to have an independent review of the documents seized from his Florida home. She has a lot of questions that she needs to ask and get answers to. In a Wednesday night filing by Trump's legal team, his attorneys argue the DOJ's own review of the documents for attorney-client privilege had deficiencies and called the search unprecedented, unnecessary, and legally unsupported. But the filing does not address the DOJ's claims of possible obstruction, though it does claim that one specific event, the June 3, 2022 meeting, has been significantly mischaracterized. Trump's legal team referenced a meeting in which the DOJ says a Trump lawyer told investigators that all sensitive documents had been returned. They had not been turned over. Not only that, there were twice as many documents not turned over, and they were all through the personal residence in an insecure location and uh, documents classified at some of the highest security classifications. A photograph included in the DOJ's bombshell filing this week showed classified and top secret documents that the DOJ says were recovered from a container at Trump's Florida estate. That is not the way his office looks. Anybody that knows President Trump's office, he has guests frequently there. It is in it's just a joke. In the Wednesday night filing, Trump's attorney stopped short of providing any evidence to back up the former president's claims that he declassified the documents in question. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington.